Hey guys, I have some fantastic news. I've talked about this in the past on some live streams, but not everyone catches the live streams, but I am officially starting the day this video comes out, which is tomorrow, my Dev Mountain Quality Assurance Coding Boot Camp. So it's been a uh, something that I've always really wanted to do. And uh, as the channel has grown in size, it's been I've been lucky enough to have the ability to partner up with Dev Mountain even though we've been partnered up for two years, but more so in in the sense that I'm going to um, be sponsored to do their boot camp in exchange for some videos. And what's cool about that is not only does it continue down the path that I have of continual learning that's done so much for me in my career, but also it allows me to talk about maybe a part a um, a boot camp that doesn't have as much light on it. Uh, you know, most people, when they think coding bootcamp, they think full stack web dev, maybe mobile. Um, but there's other opportunities as well, such as quality assurance, such as uh, UI UX, such as Salesforce. So uh, I decided to go with the quality assurance one, mainly because testing is a very important part of being a good developer. Um, I would have done UI UX, but uh, they didn't at the time, it, just because I'm, I'm more front end focused in my roles. At the time, uh, at this time, they don't have a online uh, app, online program for that quite yet. Uh, I imagine that'll be something to expand to in the future. But more than the the design aspect, um, when you're working on a team, oftentimes you'll have a dedicated QA. It's a not always, but I'd say it's pretty much standard. And so, not only can I help make myself better, but I can also help the, uh, my QA and help them. Um, uh, with their role and understand their role and and so this is a, a great way to get started in quality assurance and it's gonna give some insight as to as to um, what the program's like so uh, just a, a brief synopsis of uh, there's gonna be about six videos this first sort of introduction video what I expected and uh, you know the the application process so you can know what to expect uh, to get going then there's going to be um, about four or five videos about every two weeks of what I learned in the last two weeks in the program and what um, what uh, what I liked maybe what I didn't like right um, and then uh, a final video that's just sort of summarizing it it's 10 weeks long I'm very excited about it um, but uh, anyhow, so that's what I'll be working on for the, that's one of my New Year's resolution goals is to finish the coding boot camp, uh, the quality assurance coding boot camp this year and enroll. And I start on the 7th uh, tomorrow and I'm pretty excited. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the application process and what you can expect on your initial sort of prep week beforehand. <laughs> Okay, so um, although I am again sponsored by by Dev Mountain, I have gone through the same application process as any other candidate, um, and they they wanted to make sure, and that makes a lot of sense that that way that way I can speak to what you can expect, right? Um, and so I actually really liked it, and I thought this was one of the so far one of the greater strengths because I've talked to a lot of boot camp grads and sometimes people go in not knowing what to expect, not being prepared. I would say by and large, <laughs> Dev Mountain does a fantastic job of telling you exactly what you're going to get into and having a little bit of a barrier of entry, not just like take your money, see you later, uh, which is some boot camp models. Um, hope you don't drown, but they give you a, a little bit of a challenge to get in. So. Um, what's the first step? First step's pretty standard. You apply online, you know, you find, you know, do your research, you see, okay, cool, this is a program for me. Apply online, they'll send you a, um, a more detailed syllabus than what's on their website, and then you'll set up a time for a call with one of their, um, one of their um, student, uh, not ref referral agents, but one of the student advisors. And so there, it's about a 30 minute call. We're gonna, they're gonna be asking you about your experience. They're gonna be asking you why you wanna attend. Make sure it's a good fit, right? Make sure that you're going to get out of it what you wanna get out of it, why you're going, right? And so you're gonna have sort of a, a, a 30 minute sort of conversation about that. Uh, assuming that's successful, assuming you leave that call and say, you know what, I still, I'm still very excited. This is it for me, I like this. 
uh, you're going to move on to the next step, which is the thing that I like the most about the sort of initial process is they will send you a quality assurance project, which I absolutely loved the project because um, I did it on the live stream. I took it down, uh, but maybe I'll maybe I'll redo the project and in, a, in an additional video so that you can learn a little bit more um, about proper QA. And so the project itself, um, I don't remember the exact details. It might've been like a weather application. So it was a, a fairly simple project, but it had a lot of uh, minor things where you would, first they would give you acceptance criteria. And if you don't know what acceptance criteria is, it's a great way to introduce you to what acceptance criteria is. So they, um, they have about two or three uh, sections of the take home project. So they're gonna introduce you to Gherkin uh, formatting, which is the the agile sort of proper way of writing acceptance criteria and user stories. And so they're already in the testing process introducing you to things that if you had prepared for the uh, bootcamp, and I my advice for you guys is always prepare for any bootcamp you go into about three to six months beforehand, every single day, because a bootcamp's job is not really to teach you the core fundamentals, it's to teach you um, the sort of, to get you to a, a professional level, right? The, the analogy I always give is that you should already go in knowing basic math, they're there to teach you algebra and calculus. And so if you don't come in knowing that basic math, those sort of core principles, um, you can still be successful, but you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna progress as much as you should have. And so while you're there, you just need to think of it as sort of like a time chamber. Uh, if anyone's watched Dragon Ball Z, you know how they go in the time chamber in, in like every season and then they, they get a bunch of time. Uh, in like a year, they get like 20 years of uh, training, you know, sort of thing. That's sort of it, right? It's, it's a boot camp where you are trying to take you from level two to level five. But if you start at level zero, you might only get to a one or two and have to continue. And so you have this opportunity uh, at the boot camp to really excel rapidly. But so the project itself gives you um, really no hints on how to debug. They want you to see, they want you to dive in. They want you to figure it out, right? What is, what's wrong with this application? And so um, you're mainly doing black box testing, which means you're testing through the interface. And so in, in the example, they had a lot of great things where, um, you know, the uh, HTTP call was actually returning data, but it was hard-coded data. It wasn't doing exactly what the feature wanted, right? Um, the It wasn't supporting all browsers. It, it, there wasn't a mobile, there wasn't a mobile um, uh, version. So all these sort of things, I think there's about five or six, if I remember, that I caught and um, typed it up in the proper format and then submitted that project. So that, at the very least, is a great way to get introduced to the to the um, the overall um, process, and if you, it's I think it's a good expectation of what you can expect at least testing a front end application, which is what what this was, and um, that was a lot of fun. So that's sort of the uh, application process. You, you submit it, they review it, and they you know maybe. Um, I got it approved the first time, but I'm not sure if they send it back and say, hey, you know, you missed a few, want to continue on with this or um, how that works. Um, but I, I think for the most part, uh, if you are giving it more than 10 minutes, I think I did it in about an hour. Granted, I'm a, I've been a, a full-time salaried developer for a while, so if you're, if you're just getting started, it might take you a day. That's fine. It might take you two days. No big deal. We all progress in different ways, but it's a, it's a reasonable task. To, to sort of get you in. So that's the application process. Let's talk a little bit about what to expect in your for up into that first week uh, going into the um, first day of class. So um, one thing that I liked also was that you immediately will get introduced to um, two tools that the industry uses um, that are sort of non-technical, but just as important, right? And both of these, uh, I want to say, was in my top 10 non-technical tools to use. Um, Slack is one, which I'm sure most of us are familiar with Slack, but Slack is just a sort of messaging uh, application. Uh, some people use uh, Microsoft Teams. I use Microsoft Teams at my current work because we get it for free. And uh, oftentimes companies will take what they can get for free uh, if they're already paying for a service, then... Uh, uh, something like uh, Slack where you can get free to a point and then you have to pay for it. But yeah, off topic. But Slack is a great thing to become familiar with 
Um, and so you're already getting connected with that community and being on online, that's really important, right? You want to have, um, you know, one of the things I, I, I recommend a lot of people to go in person, uh, especially since Dev Mountain includes housing, it sort of eliminates that excuse, well, where am I going to stay sort of thing, um, is that you immediately have a community, like, and it's there visually in person and you're with a bunch of other like-minded individuals. Now you can still have that online, but you have to make sure that you're consistent with it. So they, they immediately set that up with the Slack channel for the, the uh, cohort that you're in. Next thing that they do is they set you up with Jira. If you're not familiar with Jira, it's sort of the industry leading um, ticketing system and software, dev, agile management. It does a lot of stuff. Uh, and it, that encompasses a lot of things like Confluence, which is how they, they do their documentation. But these are real world tools that if you go and work at a, at a, um, a mid to upper sized company or even a small company, you're gonna be using these tools. I've worked with Jira and Azure DevOps, uh, formerly VSTS, uh, at pretty much every company I've had and always had some form of ticketing system. And so they're getting you introduced very early on to the tools that you're actually going to be using in the field. Besides that, you'll get an invite to your very first class, which is tomorrow for me at about 9 p.m. It's a little past my bedtime, but hey, uh, sometimes to <laughs> sometimes I go to bed at like eight because I'm I'm uh, I'm ancient now. I just, I just realized somewhere at 30. This is a little little knife life knowledge. Um, I felt great at 29. The day I turned 30, my metabolism died. I put on about 20 pounds and I started going to bed at like 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. Um, I don't know. Uh, age is just a number until your body finds out you turned 30 apparently. But anyhow, so that is um, that is what uh, is the introduction process or application process and the sort of prep process um, beforehand. I'm very excited about the program and um, I'm looking forward to a fun 10 weeks of education and um you know I, I can't wait to share my projects with you guys as well as uh just the whole process along the way so um as always guys thank you so much to the sponsor dev mountain they've been sponsoring the channel since i had like 5,000 subscribers and so this is sort of a, a goal of mine for quite some time to be able to go and you know take this platform and thanks to everyone who's here and you know, get some education and continue to just talk about these things and enjoy them. So um, it's sort of a, a bit of a dream come true. I've been talking to Engineer Truth about this since he went um, to a coding boot camp a while back. And it's like, God, man, I can't wait till I can do something like that. So thank you to them who's been supporting us since we we're a, a wee, wee little channel. And um, thank you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. If you're interested in any of my courses or the books that I recommend for you to get started in software engineering, there are links in the description below. As always, see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.